So I want to just give a big shout out to everyone right now, trying, trying something new, trying to do the right thing, trying to stay open, trying to keep going, trying to hold on and trying to love themselves in whatever way that you meet your body. And I see you because I'm there too. And I just want to remind you that we're all in this together. Okay, so with that being said, if everyone can get to their most comfortable laying down position, however that looks for you, it might even be um, something propped under your knees if you need a little bit more spine support or propped under your neck. And as you reach your area, we're going to let our bodies go really long. So we want to take up space. We're so often kind of tucked into bed or tucked into a chair. Just give your body permission right now to really stretch out. Let the feet even fall open to the sides, opening that groin and pelvis. And your arms can go several different ways. They can go to the sides with the palms up or even in cactus arms, which is kind of like goal posts. Just experiment. Maybe even if you want a deep stretch, stretching them up over your head, but never going too deep, just stretching the body out, warming it up. And just feeling now into the surface beneath you and taking a moment to just pause. You can let go of getting ready for class. Let go of what there is to do today and come into the moment and your beautiful support and let's just notice the breath. How does your body feel right now? How does your mind feel? There's no right or wrong answer. We're just noticing. And we're going to take that breath now and just slowly allow it to lengthen on the inhale. And when you exhale, just let it slowly release from the body. And continuing this breath in your own way for the next couple of breath cycles. See if you can even guide that breath lower into your abdomen, into your belly. Nice full breaths. This cues our central nervous system to relax to rest, not to be on hyper alert. And as we continue this breath, we're just going to bring some gentle movement into the body. So whatever feels good, maybe starting with some rolling of the wrists and ankles, maybe rolling the head gently from side to side, waving the arms, pointing the toes. And when you're ready, we're going to begin in constructive rest. So that's where we have our feet flat on the surface beneath us, if that's available. Your knees bent. And gently putting your arms to the sides with your palms up if that's comfortable in your body. Or you can just simply rest right now and catch up with us in a bit. So we'll begin by warming our spines and we're going to start with the arch and flatten we've done in another class. So just gently rolling your pelvis so your tailbone tips down and the lower arch in the back and gently slowly releasing that back to neutral. 
and taking it in the opposite direction now. So flattening your back into the surface beneath you, stomach muscles engage, and releasing that back to neutral. And breathing in, rolling the pelvis down towards your surface, arch in the lower back, nice stretch. And exhaling, letting it come to neutral, natural curves of the spine. And inhaling, pressing the lower back into your surface, stomach muscles engage. And exhale, releasing, releasing, releasing. And it's up to you now if you want to take that movement one more time in your own time, or if you just want to pause and breathe. And when you're finished, we'll take a moment just to ground those feet into the surface beneath you, coming into a mini bridge. Bottom comes off the floor to whatever height is comfortable. Slip a paper a little bit more if you need that stronger stretch and grounding, breathing in. I am here and releasing, releasing. I'm letting it all go. And now when we do the arch and flatten, we're going to invite the shoulders to come along. So if you have shoulder issues and this is not available, please do only what's comfortable. But as you tilt into your arch, see if you can press your shoulders back into the mat beneath you and feel a much stronger arch in your back. That's the full spine engaging and exhaling, releasing, releasing, back to neutral. And this time as we flatten that lower back, roll in the shoulders towards your chest. And you'll feel a nice curl in your front body, nice extension in your back and releasing, dropping inch by inch. There might be twitching, that's okay. We're just getting our bodies all warmed up. And take this movement to your pleasure or pause. So if you're engaging again, rolling the pelvis forward, pressing the shoulders back, exhaling in your own time, back to center. And then pressing, if you can imagine your belly button touching your spine and rolling those shoulders in towards your chest. And release, release, release. And let your legs go long if that is comfortable. And take a pause here. Just notice how your body feels now that it's had some movement. And on your next inhale, let's draw those knees all the way to your chest, not all the way to your chest, towards your chest into a bundle roll. Now you can wrap your arms around the front of your knees. If that's too hard, you can just put your arms under your knees too. And just let's give our backs a nice little massage, rolling back and forth. Remembering to breathe. And then whenever you are ready and complete with that movement, allow it to go back to constructive rest with your feet on the floor and your knees up. And softening your jaw. And softening your forehead. And bringing that breath into your abdomen one more time, nice and slow. and releasing. 
And next we're going to do some movement in our legs. So by placing your hands around, we'll start with the left leg, and placing your hands around your knee, gently guide that knee in towards your chest. And exhaling, releasing that back. And one more time, if it's available, guiding that knee in towards your chest. Your other leg can stay bent or long, whatever feels most comfortable. And exhaling back. And now clasp your hands under your thigh knee of the left leg and just in your own range, extend that leg for whatever feels good. You might want to bend in the knee. And you put this leg down whenever you're ready. If you need a bit of a deeper stretch, you can pull it in slightly, bend your, flex your feet. And releasing that down to the bent knee one more time, giving it a pause. And this time when you raise your leg again, notice, do you have a little bit more room? Is it a little bit more flexible? Breathing into that full leg, maybe even waving it back and forth, just opening the groin ever so slightly. And then put your left hand on your left knee let the other leg go long, your right leg go long, and your arm will fall to the side, your left or your right arm. And just allow that knee to fall open to the side and feel that nice stretch. Oh, you can point your toes for a deeper stretch or flex them. And breathing in, bring that knee back to center. We're going to take our right hand and cross it over the left knee. Place the left arm long and gently twist to the right. Now this can be a very small movement. Breathing now into that side waist, into the side lungs. You can come out of this pose at any time. And whenever you're ready, exhaling and letting the body going long again into that starfish. And just notice how that side of the body feels compared to the side we haven't worked yet. And just contrasting to see, and sometimes each side will feel differently in the movement too, and that's okay. So when you're ready, or if you choose to pause, that's fine. Let's draw that right knee in towards the chest. And exhaling, just letting that go. And again, breathing in, drawing the knee in towards the chest. And exhaling, letting that go back to center and this time clasping the hands under that leg and extending again the leg to go long. Ooh, I'm tight. I don't know about you. <laughs> you can pause here for as long or little as you'd like, flexing the foot, even gently letting it drop from side to side and then drawing that knee back in for a pause and one more time extending that leg nice and long and see do you have a little bit more room breathing into the full leg and when you're ready taking that right hand onto the right knee, left arm goes to the side, and we're just allowing a nice spread open here. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Breathing in and letting it out. And in your own time, 
taking this now into the twist where we take our left hand to the right knee, right arm goes long and gently twisting to the side. And really see if you can breathe into your lower belly and your side ribs. For a deeper twist, you can have your neck in the opposite direction to that knee for a deeper twist. Coming out of this pose whenever you're ready, whenever you're complete, just going long. And then we're going to roll back and let our bodies go long. And take a nice big X stretch. Arms overhead, toes go long. And whenever you're ready, coming on to your sides for a moment or simply pausing and you're rested on your back. Now, I'm going to come into tabletop. This might not be accessible for everyone if you have wrists or knee issues. You can use a chair or you can stay resting on your side or your back and just continue with your breathing and meet us again in, our, in about five minutes when we start our meditation. So we're going to do movements for about the next four, four minutes. So you decide here if you need to rest or need a drink. And when you're ready, come into whatever version of tabletop works for you. So coming into all fours. If this is difficult on your wrists, you can always put your hands into fists and it takes a bit of pressure off that wrist joint. So as we begin, we're just going to breathe in and arch our back and gently rip our head and exhaling, rolling the whole spine forward, curling in, head goes last, neck hangs nice and long and loose. And switching the direction into an arch, nice and slow and steady. And releasing that now, exhaling and rounding through the spine. And you decide if you'd like to take this movement one more time in your own pace, or if you would like to drop down now into child's pose. And if you decided on child's pose or whenever you're ready to meet us there, if you'd like a deeper child's pose, you can have your legs slightly wider. And if you'd like to have a more restful child's pose, see if your toes can touch together and maybe even have something under your forehead. And just simply ground here. Breathing into the lower lungs. And taking a moment just to slow down and pause and check in with your body on how it's feeling to decide if it wants to go a little further or if it needs to rest. If it wants to go a little further, we're going to push back into that tabletop. If it needs rest, whatever comforts you need. And we're going to just allow those forearms to rest in front of us and place our forehead onto the mat with our bums in the air. So this is like a mini down dog. If you would like the higher load version, you can simply curl your toes and press into the hands and come into that full downward dog. So the options are yours.
and remembering to breathe. And whenever you're complete, giving yourself a moment to really feel your body and your breath. and taking your time to get prepared for Shavasana. So make sure you move slowly from, if you've been in any kind of extended position, take the move out of that pose really slow to allow your blood pressure to steady itself before you roll onto your backs. And now for Shavasana, we can be laying flat. You can have some support under your knees, your neck. Some people like to have their legs up, even on a chair or the couch. To have a, if you have your legs a little higher, it gives your body's blood pressure a chance to come down into your heart and into your brain a little easier. So whatever is comfortable for you. I'm just going to give everyone a moment to get settled. No need to rush. And just take a moment to allow your eyes to gently close. To feel the surface beneath you. And just begin to let go and see if you can surrender your body just a little bit deeper into the surface beneath you. And I'm going to guide you through a breath practice now where I will guide your attention to different areas of the body. And just imagine if you can guide your inhale and your exhale to these different body parts. And as we do this exercise, we will be lengthening the breath and then shortening the breath and then lengthening the breath again. And there'll be periods of quiet throughout this so you can just focus on your actually breathing pattern. So for example, from your toes to the crown of your head would be an inhale and an exhale from the crown of the head back to your toes. And if at any point this breathing practice becomes uncomfortable, just simply resume your breathing ideally at your lower belly region to just slow down the breath. And let's begin by turning our awareness to the breath at the belly right now and just watch the breath breathe your body ever so easily, noticing the slight expansion as the breath enters the body and the slight contraction as the breath leaves the body. And for this moment, there's nothing to do except to watch the rhythm of the inhalation and the exhalation and experience your full body being breathed. And let's begin to exhale through the entire body all the way down to the toes. And inhale through the body from the toes to the crown of the head. Continuing this movement of allowing the breath to be slow and deep. And following the movement of the breath through the toes to the crown and the crown to the toes with your awareness. And the 
next time you exhale, exhale to the knees. And inhale only from the knees to the crown of the head. Following your breath with awareness. Knees to crown. exhale. Exhale to the tip of the spine, your root chakra, and inhale to the crown of the head. Now you are breathing the part of the body from tailbone to the crown with breath. You may notice the breath becoming less deep as there's less of the body to breathe. And now exhaling all the way to the navel point and inhaling from the navel to the crown of the head, continuing to follow the breath with your awareness. And releasing the exhale to the heart center and only from the heart center now to the crown of the head, being aware of the body from heart to the top of the head. Releasing that now from the head back down to the heart and all the way into the navel point. Inhaling back to the crown. Navel to crown and crown to navel. And then exhaling from that crown all the way back to the tip of the spine, feeling the breath lengthen and inhaling from the spine to the crown of the head. Feeling that breath ground you and root you. And continuing to guide your breath. And now we're bringing it from the crown to the knees. Exhaling from the crown to the knees and inhaling back to the crown of the head. Nice, long, deep breaths. Allowing the body to rest, rest deeply. And exhaling from the crown all the way to the toes now and inhaling back to the crown. Full deep breaths. And imagining the body 
as a hollow reed as the breath sweeps from head to toe slowly and deeply including your whole body in this awareness. Your whole body is breathing. Every cell is being nourished with life. The movement is effortless. Your body is at peace. And the next time your breath moves through your belly, just allow it to stay there. And once again, let your body just being breathed naturally and slowly. You are now the watcher of the experience of the exchange of breath and body and the dance of inhalation and exhalation. And feeling your body fully and deeply relaxed. Nourished by this full breath practice. Feel the gratitude of looking after yourself today. And take a snapshot of this relaxation right now to remind yourself throughout the day just to pause and take a deep breath. To relax and enjoy your day. And just Bring some gentle movements into your fingers and toes and take a nice big stretch in whatever direction your body's craving. And as you slowly make your way to your side or if you decide to stay here nice and cozy, I send blessings your way. Namaste.